children and adults respond to stress differently. Uh, what we know is that stress can look like anything. Stress can look like sadness, crying, irritability, worrying, feeling scared, trouble sleeping, not concentrating or remembering things so well, getting angry, talking back, breaking rules. All of these can um, develop in the, when we're facing stress, when children and their families are under stress. We also see children who can develop more worrisome symptoms that might be self-harm, taking more risks uh, that we want to be paying attention to. All of these patterns of emotions, behaviors can fall into specific mental health problems like depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, ADHD. Uh, we can also in older children see uh, substance use problems develop when children are under stress. Uh, the other thing to know is some children have already had some of these mental health problems before. Stress that affects children and their families can make these uh, symptoms worse and parents uh, may, have, uh, may see some worsening of the symptoms that they, their child already had. With younger children, infants and toddlers, we see that they have trouble with organizing themselves. Sleeping, eating, being soothed may all be harder. With the school-aged children, those diagnoses that I mentioned earlier are the things that we look for. And again, with adolescents, uh, substance uh, use and more risk-taking with sexual behaviors may show up. Parents can keep, stick to their normal routines, uh, make sure that they are uh, trying to organize the, the family part of the world since the rest of the world has so much going on.